Welcome to Elimu TV, a place where you watch and learn. I am teacher Alex Musawa and I'll be taking you through physics form 1, lesson number 40. And our title is Force. The objectives of this lesson are to identify the various types of forces and their characteristics, to find out the effects of a force. What is a force? A force is an agent which accelerates a body. A force never creates motion. It is a push or a pull. As you can see there, this person is pushing that table there and he needs to apply a certain amount of force so that the, board, the, the, the table can move or he can pull it back and he requires a force. Effects of forces. A force has an effect. For example, a force can change the direction of a moving body. For example, a, move, a body was moving towards the east. We can apply a force and cause the body to move towards west. Another, a force can change the speed of a, a moving object. For example, a moving object is moving at a velocity of 20 meters per second and a force is applied on it. It's going to increase its speed and it's going to move at a, 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 a speed of 40, for example, 40 meters per second. Also, the force can be used to slow down the, the object. For example, the object is moving at a higher speed. What happens when you apply a force? It's going to slow it down. Also, a stop can stop a moving object. By applying a force on an object that is moving in front of it, the object stops. It can also change the shape of an object. It cannot destroy or distort its shape. Next. We have the gravitational force. And what is gravitational force? It is the force that exists between two masses. So, two, two masses because of their mass, because of their mass objects, for example, you have two objects and they have mass. The mass causes a gravitational force to exist between the two objects. Number two, we have the tension force. And this is a force that is in wires, in springs, and in strings and tension force is, is equal to the mass times the gravity next we have the the up thrust force and this is a force that causes objects to float on liquids for example water we have a boat and the reason why a boat floats is because the boat displaces water which is equivalent to its own weight and that is because of up thrust force. It's in fluids, either gases or in liquids. Next, we have the frictional force. And this is a force that opposes motion. When you try to pull an object on a surface that is rough, what will happen? You're going to experience a lot of resistance. So you will need a lot of force in order to move your object so that to overcome the frictional force and this is what makes the object to resist to move. Number two, we have the magnetic force. And this is a force that exists in magnets. And a magnet has the south pole and the north pole. And when you take iron nails and put in front of a magnet, what will happen? The magnet will attract the iron nails. This shows us that there is a force that magnets have. And this is called the magnetic force. The next we have the centripetal force and this is a this is a force that acts on a moving path of a circle. Therefore we have cohesion and adhesive forces. Cohesion force is a force of attraction between molecules of the same like. And adhesive force it is the intermolecular force of attraction between unlike molecules. For example, the, 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 the force that causes the mercury droplets to
to hold together. It's called the cohesive force. And the force that causes the mercury uh, to hold with the glass do droplets in a thermometer, it's called the adhesion force. We have the surface tension. And sometimes the, the surface of water behaves like a blanket. You can put a nail on top of water and it floats. And this is because of the surface tension. We have the electric force. And this is a force due to electric current. So when a, a circuit is formed and it's completed, what happens? There is an EMF which is called the electric force. And that is the end of our lesson. And I have an assignment for you. Number one, what is the SI unit of force? Number two, why is the weight of a person on the moon lower than the weight of a person on the earth? Our reference book is KLB Book 1, 5th edition, 2019 Physics. For more information, contact us on our phone number, YouTube, Elimu TV, Facebook, Elimu TV, and finally, Twitter, at Elimu TV underscore K. Thank you for watching Elimu TV. Stay tuned.